G'day, g'day everyone. Welcome to another episode of Natural Born Pickers. Warning, your junk will be salvaged and turned into profit. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Natural Born Pickers. I hope you enjoy it. Remember to leave a like at the end of the video. Share it if you want. Do whatever you want with it. Just have fun. It's all about fun here at The Simple Joys. So make sure you come along for the journey. If you enjoy these videos, let us know in comments and we'll keep them going. Thanks guys. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Nothing like a good old cast iron wheel. We've got a couple of those in this episode. We've got horseshoes without the horse, just the shoes. <laughs> I love an old rusty horseshoe. We've got a few of them to clean up. Garden tools, lots of old rusty, dusty treasures. Gonna clean them up and show you how we do it. Come on guys, let's get to it. Hello to my little friend. Just a metal stake with a bit of rubber insulating up the top so you can run your electric wire through it for little electric fences for your cattle. Just a few things I pulled out of scrap metal piles and things like that. I'll get a couple of bucks each for them. All adds up. These are some of my favourite things, just rusty old wheels. I love the cast iron wheels. Especially this one, look at the beautiful patterns in it. Like a four-leaf clover. It's a nice old retro piece, it's just a real light timber, a little pot holder. Got cute little round feet on the bottom. So I'm only going to give it a real quick once over with the gurney and then wipe it off. Looks like it probably came from the late 50s. Reminds me of that era. Nice little badge on the handle there, showing it's a Diston. That's a really old quality brand. There were a lot of hand saws and tools, so it's a good one to have for collectors. Hey you, prepare to stop. These are really good because a lot of people have them for their man caves or up in the garage, the home bars, that sort of thing. People love roadwork signs. A nice piece just an old pot plant holder made from wrought iron and just turned around just a cute little piece so they used to deliver these to the house and used to carry 12 of the big glass bottles of soft drink so in Australia we call it soft drink or what you would call soda pop in America used to come in these crates in big glass bottles and you get your pick of what flavours you wanted in your 12 bottles Right, here's your soft drink, catch you next week mate Audio Rusty Gold Dug out some of my old tools I've been collecting off and on over the years 
uh, mainly shovels but there's a few things in there like picks, crowbars, all rusty dusty stuff that I'm just going to give a quick gurney, clean it up, check this out. How's that for state-of-the-art gardening technology? No petrol, no line, just a bit of sweat and away you go. Put your foot on here, your handle up here, push down with your foot. <laughs> and it'll cut away all the grass that's grown over the edge of your concrete. And this one's the same sort of thing but a little bit later. It's got a timber handle. Alright guys, what do we reckon this one is? It's homemade, looks like it's been welded up at home, just a do-it-yourself job. And I reckon it probably is a prickle lifter or a bendy puller. We'll find a prickle and see if we can get it to work. Use that bit for leverage. There we go. Now, in amongst these rusty old tools, I've got a really cool item. I'm not a hundred percent sure what you call it or the era. I think it was World War II. Now, as far as I know, um, into the sand or the ground, they would put that end, wind it in. Okay, I won't go all the way down, but that gives you the idea. It winds down until it's anchored in the ground. And then through these loops up here, they would put their barbed wire. So just to make a perimeter and a, a safe sort of barrier, they would have barbed wire going through these loops and it's got a spike on top as well. So they would have a heap of these laid out in a line, put their barbed wire through it, and that would give them a little bit of a precautionary break or a barrier. Pretty cool, eh? You never know what you find when you're out picking. So I was really happy to find this one. And I just found it in an old scrap heap in amongst all the old metal. Hello! Hello, hello, hello. Isn't that a lovely old cream can or a milk can? And it's been welded onto star pickets and a bit of metal to make a mailbox. These are really popular for mailboxes out here. It's got that inside it just to keep your mail and your newspapers and that dry in case any moisture or rain gets in the bottom of it. Look at this old beer bottle. It's a 4X beer bottle from the 70s and it's still got the old emblem of the forex man on it well howdy i'm mr forex man have a drink with me ah oh thank you very much well since my baby picked me i found a new place to rust Thank you very much for joining us guys. We love doing these and we hope you're enjoying them. We'll see you next episode. Remember there's links in descriptions. Leave comments. We love to hear from you. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up. Leave comments if you want. Share it. Subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. And all that jazz. See you next time. Bye.